URC at UCLA is excited to present our rover for the 2025 URC System Acceptance Review. We are an all-women's robotics team at UCLA that is dedicated to building a fully functional rover to compete in all four missions of the University Rover Challenge. Our rover, Pandora's Box, fits within a 1.2 by 1.2 by 1.2 meter footprint and weighs under 50 kilograms. Let's take a look into our progress so far. Hi, my name is Cheryl and I'm one of the design co-leads for URC at UCLA. Today we're going to be going over some of our design choices. For suspension, we decided on a rocker bogey system because of how effectively it can handle bumps and rocky terrain. For our wheels, we decided on beach wheels to allow for slightly more dampening and mobility so that the system wasn't rigid going over bumps and hills. For the differential system, we settled on a differential bar rather than a counter-rotating gearbox because the design was more efficient, easier to manufacture, and would be lighter than a traditional gearbox. Hello, my name is Charlene and I'm one of the manufacturing leads. Throughout the year, we conducted weekly workshops that covered a wide range of manufacturing processes, including laser cutting, 3D printing, and working with the mill and lathe. During the chassis assembly, we identified an issue with the bolts and the corner brackets interfering with each other. To resolve this, we used the lathe and drill press to create new woman-made holes allowing the bolts to be properly offset. Members were also able to explore the plasma cutter to create brackets for the suspension system and the laser cutter to fabricate the panels for both the arm and the chassis. These hands-on experiences not only allowed members to develop a deeper understanding of various manufacturing techniques, but also fostered problem-solving skills, teamwork, and a strong sense of accomplishment throughout the project. Our rover features a 5 degree of freedom planar arm with a max payload weight of about 5 kilograms. Linear actuators control the movement of the arm shoulder and elbow joints, while brushed DC gear motors power the semi-differential wrist joint. Potentiometers and encoders provide close-loop feedback to improve precision and accuracy. The end effector utilizes a lead screw parallel clamp to pick up items and complete tasks for the equipment servicing mission. Our electrical system is designed for efficiency and reliability. We've utilized a MPR-1 for its long-distance range control, and we've achieved communication of up to one kilometer in range. Additionally, this communication system works with our current model, which includes linear actuators and flux losses. Our power that we've supplied is driven by a strong and consistent 12-volt LiPo battery. We picked this battery for its battery management system, consistent supply, and for its lightweight model when compared to alternate batteries that we previously considered. Hello, we are this programming co-lead and our programming sub-team is in responsible for integrating ROS2 um, on a Raspberry Pi as the master and an Arduino microcontroller as the site. Our goal is to ensure smooth communication between all hardware components using um, serial and ITC protocols. One of our biggest focus is AR tag tracking, which is essential for autonomous navigation. We're using OpenCV and TensorFlow to process data input in real time, allowing the rover to detect and track markers accurately. This enables position in localization and obstacle avoidance. Another major aspect of our work is robot arm control. We've structured our control into three milestones, starting with independent joystick control for six degrees of freedom, then optimizing inputs by pairing movements, and finally, recording predefined motion trajectories for mission automation. Hi, the following section is the Science Sub Team's CAD model. This is the CAD model of our science mechanism. This mechanism is all held up by an aluminum box that is attached by nine strut channel brackets made out of zinc plated steel that would then attach the box to the bottom of the rover. Our scooper is made out of aluminum, then it's connected to a servo motor that will allow rotation to collect sample. After the sample is collected by the scooper, the linear actuator will then bring up the scooper and the scooper will dispense the sample through the funnel into one of these slots onto the acrylic disc. This disc will then rotate approximately 45 degrees that is utilizing the conveyor belt system that is powered by a stepper motor. We will be using a 4-in-1 probe that detects humidity, temperature, pH level, and electric conductivity in order to discern whether life could exist at these sites for science testing. We use two samples from our campus to receive temperature, pH, and humidity data. Thank you for watching our SAR video submission 2024 to 2025.